to talk the first Lego League Tech Valley Challenge. We talked about this several weeks ago with a representative from Intel. And they've teamed up with RPI. And John D'Alessandro from RPI Event Spokesman is here because today is the big day. John, good morning. Good morning, Joe. Hey, this is a great idea. Uh, okay, so today is the day. Can you tell us what's going to happen now? Well, basically, the first Lego League is part of the first foundation, which encourages programs for kids to uh, get excited about math and science. And they, th they do this through uh, the use of robotics. What's going to happen today is uh, it's a competition for middle school kids where they have to perform certain challenges on a game board uh, under uh, a subject heading. And the subject for this year is called Climate Connections, and obviously it involves global warming and the interrelationships between people and their environment. Now, well, this will be a competition today, right? Yes, there are 24 teams from throughout Tech Valley. We actually even have a team from as far west as Rochester and one from over in Vermont. No kidding. And they use Lego toys to put all this together and, I guess, other items, too, to make them work, right? That's, that's correct. Um, in the first Lego League competition, it's uh, open to 9- to 14-year-olds, middle school kids, and they build uh, robots from Lego pieces and, and semiconductors, and they, they have to do everything from design the robot to program the robot to accomplish a number of tasks on a game board. You know, that really is interesting, and I know that uh, speaking with a rep from Intel a few weeks ago, uh, and, and just to uh, RPI, uh, your, obviously your reputation, this is, this is a, a great challenge for kids today, for young people in middle school, but it's also to get people interested in math and science. That's your goal, because that's what we need for the future, correct? It is. Um, you know, these days it's, it's hard to get kids interested in, in math and science and engineering, especially as they get older and they get into high school and college. Um, but the nice thing about the entire FIRST program is it not only encourages kids to go into those disciplines, but it also teaches them a lot of other skills because part of the competition is not just putting the robot on the board. It's also doing the research. They have to make a presentation to a panel of judges hmm. so they get public speaking experience. And all this is done sort of under the guiding rule uh, that the first foundation calls uh, gracious professionalism, which means basically you don't do things to win at any cost. You do things in collaboration with your teammates. You do things to help other teams that they have problems. Hmm. You, you do things in a way that you find solutions that benefit everyone. I like that. I like that. We need more of that. That's great. Absolutely. Now, it's open to the public to view this today? It's most certainly open to the public. It's a great time. It may be 16 degrees outside, but it's going to be about 116 degrees <laughs> at the Darren Communication Center. Um, we'll have about 250 kids competing and an umpteen number of, uh, of kids supporting them. I would encourage anyone who wants to, to find something to do today. It's going to be a lot of fun and high energy to come down and spend a couple of hours, even if the kids are not 9 to 14. Um, you know, there's a lot of activity going on. There's a lot of excitement. And frankly, you know, we want to get kids excited so when they get to middle school, they start in the first programs, which go throughout high school. Now, okay, so, you know, I guess I'm familiar with going to RPI to hockey games and also over by, uh, by Samaritan Hospital. How do you, how do you, how do you get to the this, this center? How, how do you find it? If you head up Hoosick Street and take a right towards RPI, we have a number of uh, directional signs. Uh, the parking is free, so it's pretty easy to get to. The Darren Communication site is on the west side of the campus. Um, it's a pretty big building. There is a surface parking and a parking garage. Um, so just follow the directional signs. It's very easy to get to. And All right. Frankly, there's going to be an enormous banner uh, touting the uh, <laughs> Intel First Lego League Challenge hanging off the, the building. That's great. Now, is there a prize involved here for the winning team? Yes, there is. There's actually nine uh, trophies that will be awarded, and of course the trophies are made out of Lego pieces. Uh, <laughs> great, that's um, great. And, and again, under the banner of uh, gracious professionalism, not only does the winning team, the team that accomplishes the most missions and gets the most points, get an award, but there's the sportsmanship trophy, the most creative trophy, the best dressed team trophy. Um, so there, there are you know a number of different awards that a team can win. All right, and what time does the event start again? The opening ceremony starts at 10.45. Okay. Um, if you want to go and watch the kids in their pits programming the robot and practicing, you can come a little bit early, but it starts at 10.45 and it goes to about 2 o'clock. 
All right, that's great. Hey, John, good luck. What a great event. The 2008 First Lego League Tech Valley Challenge uh, in Corroboration. Corroboration. Help me, John. Way of the word. Collaboration. Collaboration with uh, RPI and Intel. John, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, listen, have a, really, it sounds like a great event today. Good luck with it, and uh, thanks for being with us. Have a great holiday. Thank you. You too. All right, John. Bye. Thanks a lot. John, do you sell it? Uh, do you, uh, <laughs> I can't do anything now, John. DLS, uh, do you, oh, come on. Come on, Joe. What is going on here? D'Alessandro.